I'm Colin Fitzgerald with Arrowhead Camper Sales in Mayfield, Kentucky. We're going to look at a 2018 3805 Voltage Toy Hauler 5th Wheel by Dutchman. This is a Thor product. It's a three slide model. Actually, has a very long garage, a 14 foot garage on it. So, we're going to look into the features of this unit. Now we're going to go inside first, and then we'll come back outside in a second. First, I'll show you the tag. You can see 3805 right there and then Arrowhead Camper Sales. So we'll go inside first and actually go to our right and go to our bedroom and work our way back. So you enter the unit, um, some steps here up to the top deck, and we'll go into the bedroom, start there. So door to close the bedroom off is right here, sliding door, pocket door. Really nice bedroom. You'll notice as you go throughout this beautiful cabinetry and trim all throughout this unit. There's a wardrobe slide here in the bedroom. So all those mirrors, all those doors um, are actually a slide room. So a ton of hanging storage in this unit up here in the, in the uh, bedroom. Drawers below this as well. So you can see there's storage there to the right. So great job. Um, again, with the drawers there below. Just trying to add a ton of storage in here. Um, one, of the, one of the problems sometimes in these units. So we have a great amount of storage there. All around the bed, again, more storage, cabinetry. Just a beautiful, rich look to it. A lot of more modern curves and lines in this cabinetry. Night stands on both sides of the bed as well. You'll notice also a lot of floor space in here. So it's very, very easy to get around um, the foot of the bed, especially. You're not rubbing the wall. You're not rubbing the mattress. Um, on both sides as well. So very spacious up here in the bedroom. Nice big window there. For added light three acs on this unit so one ac here in the bedroom one ac in the kitchen living room area and another ac in the garage so there's the first ac there tv there already in the unit uh trimmed in you can see a nice little tv box there so very well equipped very spacious bedroom in the front in the hallway here is our bathroom again another sliding pocket door we don't have to uh, fight the door in the hallway porcelain toilet here to the left foot flush toilet Storage here for linens or other bathroom supplies. A residential style a shower. You can see it's like a one piece, a fiberglass, definitely more of a home style look. Got a seat in it, a shelving built into it. Nice skylight above as well. Glass shower doors with a towel hanger on it. A good amount of countertop space here in the, in the bathroom. Storage to the right. A mirror and a medicine cabinet up here above as well. Go down to the bottom deck into our kitchen living room. To the right here, this is a really cool idea of a voltage. Uh, this pantry, you can actually remove these shelves if you want to, and it will become like just a coat closet. So there's the hangers there. Up top, uh, for the sake of just brevity, I'm not going to go through all of this stuff, but uh, several switches here that point options out. You can see the tank heaters on here, uh, 5,500 watt Onan generator on it. There's the control for that. Um, the in command system there, touch screen. You can control a whole lot of things on this. Um, lights, uh, some as far as the pump monitor panel goes, a lot of that's included into that. Um, another video to cover that, trying to keep this thing uh, kind of reasonable length. So a lot of things there in that. Uh, as far as the kitchen goes, I'm going to back up real quick. Let you see this all at once. Again, beautiful, beautiful cabinetry and countertops in these units. A huge quad door refrigerator here, 18 cubic foot. Got four door refrigerator, freezer up top, and then refrigerator down bottom. Stainless steel look, looks really cool there. The new uh, Furion oven there, glass top stove cover, solid surface countertops, of course, in this unit. Oven, uh, excuse me, microwave oven above, more cabinetry above. Again, be just beautiful detail in these cabinets. Uh, storage there, storage above as well. A good amount of countertop space. So that over there, you know, great for a crock pot or a, a, a uh, coffee maker, something like that. And of course, this area here for prepping and serving food. Got a flush mount sink cover, residential style, pull out faucet there. Very awesome uh, kitchen. Oh, also there's more storage even down below here. So again, just cabinets and drawers wherever you look. Um, not much wasted space in, in terms of that in this unit. Again, more controls here. Um, 
You got a power control system for your ACs uh, with three air conditioners on a 50 amp hookup. You know, you got to have something to monitor that. So, again, uh, more information on that um, elsewhere. Try to keep this thing brev uh, brevity for sake of brevity, excuse me. Uh, but more information can be found on that. Max air control there. It's got solar wired. Um, your AC control right there, multi zone, thermostat. So, again, great job too by voltage uh, putting all that stuff right there together. You have that stuff there, you have the other stuff here in our pantry. But I'm trying to keep the controls, you know, in a centralized location versus having them spread out all over the place. So, I do like that. Very practical. Uh, there's your second slide again. We talked about that. Three slides. There's your second of the three. Entertainment center here, fireplace below. Again, super cool modern look to that. A big TV here, that thing does pull out, changes angles. You got a sound bar below. Um, all that's Jensen. A really cool system there by Voltage having all this the same brand. It's very interlinked, uh, very seamless as far as transition between modes. A great job by them incorporating that. Again, a lot of storage in here, a lot of cabinets. Um, frosted glass inserts on that just to kind of give it uh, a more modern look. You got lights inside as accent to shine through. Just a very impressive wall um, as far as entertainment and cabinets go there. Our third and final slide is here. Opposing that, huge couch, Thomas Paine couch. So upgraded leather there, upgraded quality. Um, you have a bunch of big windows in this for, again, natural light, trying to keep it open in here. Big nightshades on those. The second AC, like we said, there's three. There's the second of the three right there. Before we go in the garage, you can see a loft up top. There's a ladder to get up there as well and a curtain to close that off. Going into the back, again, big, beautiful door here. Uh, not just some, some ugly curtain or sliding door, but a nice quality, uh, heavy door there, actually. Good quality door. Big garage. Okay, so like we said, around a 14-foot garage. Kick panel along the edges. Easy, clean surface in here uh, to, to handle any of the mud stains, things of that nature. Uh, but just a massive amount of space in here. So you can haul a lot of things that you can't haul in other uh, smaller, you know, maybe 12 foot garages. Happy Jack system in here. So even if you don't plan on use, using this as a garage, we have a lot of customers use these as a second bedroom, um, as just a, a general storage area, uh, things of that nature. When it's raining, you can come in here, you can play cards, play video games, whatever you want to do, hang out. So additional storage, excuse me, additional eating or sitting area there if you want or you can make it into a bed that table comes up the tops of those couches roll down and you got a nice big bed so a lot of options back here a queen bed up top as well on that back wall on the ramp uh, you'll see that's actually like a, a screened in porch top door um, the back ramp folds down and then you have a patio around it uh, there are steps as well with that so again even extending onto this we have another room so many customers find that there's a lot of things they can do with these besides just haul a toy. Um, you can do many different things with these, uh, with these units, with these added options here. Big windows in here, again, keeping that trend, trying to keep natural light in here, uh, trying to keep it very open. There's your third AC up there as well. Last thing in here, back to the right, you see our entertainment center here with a washer dryer hookup, upgraded audio there as well. And as a kicker, we got a half bath back here. So. Half bath off the garage, foot flush toilet, a little bit of storage in here as well, and a medicine cabinet. So nice addition to this floor plan. So we'll go back outside. You'll notice on these, both entry doors have aluminum step treads on them. Both doors have that. Frameless windows, really dark tint on these. That combined with our graphics and our wheels, uh, just the general accents, these have a very aggressive, very clean look to them. Outside entertainment center there with the TV. Six point hydraulic auto level on this unit. Self leveling. Triple axle, awesome wheels. Um, some of the best wheels we've seen on any product that we carry. Really, really almost look aftermarket. Don't even look like they were uh, provided by manufacturer, but really cool wheels on this. Also, more ride suspension on this for added, added comfort, stability. Uh, awesome addition there by, by Voltage. Two awnings on this side. So we have awning coverage, both electric, almost the entire side of this unit. You can see one goes there, 
Another one starts as well, extends all the way down there. So a ton of awning coverage on this. And then added onto that, we have our awning on the back. So again, remember on, the, on this door, which is a zero G uh, Moride door, by the way, easy to open and close. On this door, you can actually have a patio. And there's an awning above as well. So you've got awning coverage on um, almost half the unit, uh, considering the back and the side of this unit. So a lot of things you can do with this as far as entertaining um, and creating different spaces for use. On the back side here, fueling station, ladder on the back, on the side, excuse me, to get on the top. Again, just super clean graphics, very clean lines, uh, good transitions and contrast between the windows and the side of the unit. Really cool wheels there again. A black tank flush on this unit. 50 foot power cord with this. Uh, one of the one of the best any of our manufacturers send with us. 50 amp, of course, with three air conditioners. A nice long power cord there. Gas electric water heater is there. Great job here by Voltage doing a universal kind of docking center type style thing uh, with all your connections very organized, very neat. You got cable connections, TV connections, uh, things for winterizing, hooking up water, black tank flushes, just all sorts of things. Very neat, very organized. Uh, great job by them putting that together. Our auto level pad is right there. Some outside storage here. Pass through. Those are also your uh, add-ons for your central vac pieces there. Slam latch compartment doors. A really heavy jug gloss on this exterior. If you saw it on the other side in the sun, a super slick exterior. Very neat front cap here. Um, kind of got that V painted into it with that, that dark black paint on there. Very attractive exterior on these units. So 2018 3805 voltage fifth wheel by Dutchman. That's a Thor product. Triple slide, 14 foot garage, six point auto level. Two electric awnings on the side, patio system on the back, zero G, gravity, zero gravity ramp door, three ACs, four door refrigerator, uh, you name it, this thing's got it, and that's here at Arrowhead Camper Sales in Mayfield, Kentucky.